Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa is all about is your round kick bad, good, or excellent? You'll know at the end of this video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about our rear round kicks. And as a coach, I always get asked, hey coach, is my round kick any good? And I usually give three responses. And I'm an honest coach, I will say it's bad, it's good, or it's excellent, okay? That excellent one comes very rare, but I'm hoping those in my advanced program mostly have excellent kicks. So let's get into the differences and then you can decide at the end of the video where you stand with your kicks based on the type of stepping, the curriculum, and the small details that I do in my kick. A kick might be powerful, right? You might be big and strong, but it might be missing little elements, right? So you can decide at the end of this video and if you want, let me know below if your kick is bad, is it good or is it excellent? What would I say about it? So, what makes a bad kick, okay? Now, hopefully if you're a beginner, don't take this as discouragement, take it as something, well, I know what I have to do now to make it good. If your kick is good, I know what I need to do now to make it excellent, okay? This is a good learning tool for everyone to follow along with, okay? So main thing, I don't care what stance you're in, but a bad kick, okay? Now. When it comes to any form of technique, as a specialist, we all know that power and everything comes from the feet. Now, first thing I look at is the foot and the stepping, okay? So, if I first line up center line, I see the round kick. I'm kicking with my right side, okay? This is what a bad kicker is gonna do. They're gonna step this way and try to kick this way, all right? So, first thing I learn is that step, all right? Now, the step is gonna come the wrong way. As I try to kick my hips cross, I got nothing. The second thing they might do is they might step with their heel the other way and then they try to kick and they can't kick, right? Now you also seen there because of this step here, right? Or I'm stepping with a bladed stance. When the kick does come, you see my toes upwards, okay? That means a very bad kick because now you're hitting with the side of the shin. So Matt's here. What's gonna happen is they're gonna step the wrong way, they're gonna try to kick, and they're gonna end up hitting with their toes pointing up and falling, okay? That's very hard for me to do because hopefully I'm on the excellent side of the kick, but the main thing, the step is gonna be off, right? We know power line stepping. To get maximum power, I have to step straight or slightly step out, but the bad is gonna step in, and then they're gonna kick with their toes up because they don't have the hip flexibility, and then they're gonna fall down to an unstructured stance, okay? So it's gonna step awkward, weird, step with the toes up and fall down. That's a bad kick, okay? Very bad. But that's a beginner style to get better. Now, when I see a good kick now, okay? Let's start getting past this crappy stuff because we don't wanna keep talking about it, right? So let's start talking about what makes a good kick now. Not excellent yet. So the first thing is gonna happen is they're gonna step into get momentum into the step. If they are not stepping here, it's a labored kick, okay? It might look good. <laughs> Okay, good snap, but there's no step, there's no momentum, there's no power drive from the hip, okay? So, the first thing a good kick is gonna have, it's gonna have a step forward, okay? So they're gonna step in a straight line. They're not gonna cross the step, okay? They'll most likely step straight. Now, from here, they'll be able to throw their kick from this position. Now, one of the things a good kick is gonna have that an excellent doesn't, right? What's gonna happen is a lot of times the habit of heel-toe stepping, okay? It might sound so minimal, but my old school martial artists on the channel will agree with me, heel-toe stepping is a big no-no, okay? You wanna step on the balls of the feet, okay? So a good kick might step flat on the foot, they might heel-toe step, anything of that nature, which makes it good but not great. So the step comes forward and what's gonna happen now is they'll still drive, they'll still push, and then they come back down to the stance here, okay? So that's not bad, right? I got a good step forward, okay? I wasn't crossing, I'm still driving off my rear calf, I'm turning my hips now, and I have a small pivot, right? That kick that I talked about, that first bad one, the toes were pointed up. Why were they pointed up? Because they're not pivoting. You can't turn your hip over if you don't pivot. If I step straight and now I pivot, ah, I can now hit with the front of my shin. That's why it's a round kick. So to create a pivot allows you to hit with the front shin. So now the good kick, they step forward. Now what they're gonna do is they're gonna create a little bit of a pivot. Okay, which isn't bad, but two things happen now for a mediocre kick, okay? What's gonna happen is they'll only small pivot, 
okay? Or they do over pivot, right? So when I talk about pivoting, there's, right, 45 degree, 90 degrees, and then those who go right around 180 degrees, which is way too far. You don't need to be pivoting that far because you can't back up into your stance, okay? So those are the things. They step good here. They're kicking with a pivot, but they're either over pivoting or under pivoting, okay? And then when they kick, their foot comes right back to the position they kicked with, right? Which seems right. Back foot's on the letter O here. I step, I kick, I come back, and it's still on the O. Seems pretty good, but that doesn't make it great. Okay, now we're going to transition to the great side of a round kick, which is going to have everything now, okay? So, what we're going to do first, we're going to start with a step, just like the other ones, okay? Bad, I crossed. Good, I heel-toe stepped, or flat. A great step on the ball of the foot. And if you notice, right, if I'm on the B, right on the center of the B, as soon as I go take a step, I'm going to step out about an inch or two, which is going to allow me to open up my hip, allow me to pivot more and get more power. So I'm stepping just off to the center of my line to generate more power. The key thing, ball of the foot. And I'm not stepping on my heel to get there. From a good defensive stance, I step on the ball of the foot two inches outside of center line. Now I'm gonna drive this rear cap and I'm gonna create a 90 degree pivot. This is a full traditional round kick. A 45 kick, I'll pivot 45. I'm not gonna go past 90 degrees. So my foot's only gonna pivot to that other side. Snap, come back and exit, okay? You heard that word, exit. Okay, a great kick is gonna have an exit. The mediocre, the good kick, kind of kick, boom, and it came back here. I'm still in range to get touched. I need to create an exit. How do I create an exit? Okay, I step to generate power on the ball of my foot. I launch my round kick, I pull my back foot out, and now I'm back to a good defensive stance where I can block and I'm out of the range of counter shots, okay? Now, that's not it. You gotta take into consideration of everything. I stepped on a good power line, which we called. I pivoted 90 degrees. After I pivoted, I did not fall down. This is a big mistake. Pop, boom, and they fall, and the heel falls down, and then I can't create an exit. I need to stay on the ball of my foot. Snap, snap, come back, return to your stance. Defensive stance, offensive stance, pivot come back, stay on the ball of the foot. If your heel's falling, you gotta do your calf exercises to be able to stay on the balls of your feet, okay? Once you develop the exit, that is a good round kick. So a good round kick has a good entry and a good exit, good pivoting, good hip control. When I land my kick, my toes aren't pointing up, they're torn down so I can land with the front of my shin to generate power, and then I create that exit. But what are your hands doing? This is another topic we need to discuss, okay? Bad hands, okay, are gonna be here, right? Not control. A good kick might keep their hands pinned here. A big habit I see a lot is this a lot, okay? They'll kick and they keep their hand pinned here, right? You gotta learn to loosen up your hips, your body, and your hand. So naturally, you want your hands to create a flow, okay? This is an outside body kick, okay? So, you know, here, I naturally bring here more of like a nice, put something in front of my face. If I just sit here, it's not natural enough. I'm too tight. So to get power, I need to use my arms, my hips, everything needs to work in unison and come back, okay? I'll give you a good 10 power round kicks and hopefully you consider them great, okay? So watch my footwork, watch my step in, and I'll generate my power. Shoot! 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 All right, there you have it. Bad, good, and great round kicks. Hopefully you understand the concepts, but if you want to know more about it, head over to bazookatraining.com. I break this down into tutorials, the sparring drills. Your kicks are going to get that much better. And we're going to train all those muscles to help you be able to stay on those calves like we talked about. Make sure you also support the channel by going to Hayabusa. I'll link in the description below. These T3 boxing gloves, you can tell from all my videos. My personal favorite, we got Perfect Sports Nutrition. Get all your supplements from there. I highly recommend the Altered State Pre-Workout, their brand chain amino acids, and then the protein for recovery. Last but not least, as I keep mentioning, bazookatraining.com. All linked in the description below. There's even a little discount code for you for your first month. Make sure you check it out. We have so many videos now, over 350 videos. 
starting from bag work drills, sparring drills, tutorials, home workouts, endless for less than $10 a month, all right? All linked below, don't worry about it, and we'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Woo. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Veltolini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.